Hello and welcome to module 3 of our uh, course in Introductory Business Statistics. This module now, we're going to focus again, similar to in module 2 here, we're going to be looking at descriptive statistics. In this case, however, we're not going to be looking at pie charts and bar graphs and these types of graphical summaries. Now we're going to be producing numerical summaries of our data set. So similar to module two is that this module is focused on communication and how can we take this what might be a massive data set how can I communicate different aspects and characteristics of that data set in a meaningful and hopefully a, a concise way. So in module two, when we looked at these graphical summaries, it was you know, show a picture and something about this picture illustrated some concept about that data set. What we're doing now, you can think of it as if we're obtaining the, the, the specifications of this data set. For example, if you think of a car, if you go car shopping, one of the things that you might look at are the specifications of that car. How many people does it hold? How many seats? Uh, what's its cargo space? Um, what's its fuel efficiency? What's its engine size? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. The the list of of specifications for a car. There can be a lot of different things that you might be interested in, and looking at those specifications give you enough information. To, to draw some conclusions about that particular car. You don't need to know all of the specific engineering details about how every little part of that car works, but having that the specifications gives you just all of the important information that you want. Well, this is basically what we're doing when we look at descriptive statistics. We're gonna start with a potentially large data set and our examples in this module we do keep ourselves limited to smaller data sets because it just takes uh, less time and, and it's a little bit easier to work through but here we're going to be looking at particular specifications of a data set that describe its location uh, and that describe its shape these are really going to be the two most important specifications when we look at location, we're going to be looking at roughly where does this data set exist. Now that sounds kind of strange. We're looking at measures of central tendency, different ways that we can measure the middle or the average value within a location. So these are going to be things like the mean, the median, the mode, uh, we'll look at quartiles, there's so many of these things, quartiles and percentiles. And these all give us some idea of where the observations are. We'll look at shape. Shape, now we're going to be discussing things like variance, uh, standard, dis uh, standard deviation, and these are all different measures of dispersion. So how far are individual values within that data set? How far do they exist from its mean, from that middle point? Are all of the observations in that data set, are they all very close together? Are they all packed around some uh, point in the middle? Or are they very widely spread out across some wide range? And of course, the range is another metric, another specification uh, that we will consider. And then we'll also look at a few different things, uh, particularly how to identify outliers in a data set. So maybe a strange observation that is somewhere way beyond, far away from other observations that exist within that data set. So in this one, we're going to be basically putting together uh, a list of specifications that in one way or another they describe all of the important characteristics uh, of some potentially large complex tedious data set 
we'll put together a table that says, look, here's all the important stuff. Here's all you need to know about this data set. And then using that, you, know, you make your decisions or do whatever you want to do with that or make observations and you can probably extract maybe some interesting um, bits of information about that data set. So this is all that module three is going to be about is, is we'll be discussing what each of these different specifications are and how to go about calculating them and identifying them. Okay, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it's interesting, hopefully it's practical, and you'll gain again some understanding of the importance of communicating uh, different aspects of data. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let's get started on some problems.